Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. Today, from the Transformers Generations line, we are looking at skids. And unfortunately, that's about as excited as I'm going to be able to get for this figure. Like many of you, when this was first unveiled at BotCon a couple years ago, I was excited for it because it was a new skids mold and it looked really cool. And it does. It looks cool. But some um, poor design choices as well as uh, a few odd gimmicks really hamper um, this figure's uh, posability. And I don't mean the you know excessive yoga posing. I mean just being able to hold its weapon in a realistic manner. Speaking of which, it comes with two weapons. This one in particular is very close in design to one of the original blasters that G1 skids came with. Kind of funny that it was a science guy, but it was heavily armed. That's Diaclone for you. It also comes with this little mini blaster, which female connector here, male connector there. Plug them in, and you get this giant laser gun, which looks even more like the original uh, Skids Blaster, but we'll get to that a little bit more. Other than that, Skids is this very compact um, car, a little bit of a robo kibble underneath, but nothing that bad. Uh, fun transformation, um, just not something, it, it, but the robot mode is lacking. We'll get to that when we get to that. So yeah, so it rolls, that's about it. Let's get to the transformation. Now, it's been a while, and I'm doing this from memory, so hopefully it's not that bad. But first, what you want to do is start off, is go ahead and uh, swing, unpeg, um, and then swing out what, the doors and the side mirrors. Just like that. Those you'll fought around with in a moment. Um, turning the car over, and we can, you know, do it from either side, but split the rear there. And just go ahead and start uh, folding out the legs like so and then what you want to do is and this is a cool little step you're gonna see these, where the uh, red is and it's the rear wheel I'm gonna go ahead rotate that down on both sides and then go ahead and flip the feet down so there you have um, oh no you don't have the legs done uh, because what you need to do then is come here and rotate them around so they're facing forward. And, uh, oh wait, it's backwards. No, there's more to it. Now this is kind of cool. Um, the arm right here by where the bicep would be had a joint uh, molded in that you could collapse the arm in. So you just want to go ahead, unpeg the arm, and straighten it out. Um, and then come up to the front here, pull out the shoulders, uh, just like that, loosen everything up, and there you go, and after you do that, you can come in and uh, uh, lift up what was the uh, roof, rotate the figure around at the waist, don't worry about posing or anything. We're going to get to that in a moment because there's a little trick I want to show you. But, uh, so yeah. You have it here in the front. It's going to adjust the camera ever so slightly. Um, go ahead, flip this whole section down. And continue to flip it out. Rotate the robot head up. Flip it back. Just like so. You have a... Uh, And you have his head exposed, but we're not quite done yet. And for whatever reason, that was all out of focus. Just, but it was kind of blurry, but I think you saw it. <laughs> Gotta love the cameras. Um, next, what you want to do is try to keep the arms uh, straight while you do this. Um, go ahead. Bring up the... Well, first, what you want to do here on the back is... Uh, the windshield is on a hinge, you just want to bring that back. Bring the doors out ever so slightly, and then 
bring this whole contraption up and it will kind of friction into place and there for better or worse you have skids in robot mode now one last little thing coming down to the legs here you want to go ahead and you want to bring them in a notch just like that and then bring the knees back one click and that you'll get them to stand you got to chicken leg it a little but uh, unfortunately, that's how it kind of works to get the robot to stand. Okay, articulation. Not that bad. Ball jointed head here. Rather expressive. Some sort of ball joint hinge here at the shoulders. Unfortunately, it's set a little back for, farther back from my taste. You... Uh, have really no rotation at that bicep joint um, you do have rotation here at the elbow so under slung cannons which we're going to get to in a minute now the hips a lot of the first versions of skids that were on in the market had a problem where the left and right hip cups were, were reversed this was compounded by the fact that in trying to uh, fix it the ball joints were snapping off Thankfully, my legs are fine. So you do have the rotation, you know, ball jointed hip. Now, my problem I have is they put the thigh cut right underneath the joint, which means nine times out of ten, when you're going to rotate the thigh, you're going to end up rotating that hip joint unless you hold it in place. You have the ratcheting joints for the knees here, which we discussed. Uh... The feet are on that ball joint, um, back and forth. You do have that secondary joint, which really is just for transformation. So, yeah, you have a lot of great um, steps here, uh, bits of articulation. Unfortunately, a lot of times it's not that useful, especially for the next mode. Skids has a bit of what we call a weapons mode. First, what you want to do is go ahead and... They're on a conjoined hinge, so swing out those blasters. Go ahead, come up to the front here, and grabbing by right down the side panel of what would be the front of the car, rotate it down, and you have if I can, uh, a shoulder-mounted missiles right there. Next, come along the back here, and... In theory, this was kind of cool, but it just didn't work out. There's a spring-loaded bla shoulder blasters, which are kind of close to what the original figure had. But the problem is, um, first of all, if you don't have the shoulders right, they kind of get blocked. Second of all, they don't spring out as well as you would think they would. But here's uh, Skids in his uh, super-duper armor weaponize mode and if you're kind of noticing yeah the hips are a little bit loose on mine that's just how it came and of course the figure can hold its gun so yeah uh doing this kind of limits articulation a little bit but also uh makes the figure look a lot more imposing and with a little bit more of a nod to its G1 self. Let's pause here, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Like I said at the beginning, Skids is a fun figure to look at. The transformation is actually kind of cool. But the robot mode, it, it's just missing a, a, a je ne sais quoi. Um, I mean, I really can't put my finger on it that makes it from being cool. Issues aside with the hips, which, like I said, is on a figure-by-figure -figure basis, um, the legs are just a little odd, which is a shame because the transformation is very unique. E you know, the chicken legging isn't that bad as it gives him more of that heroic stance, but from the waist up, things just bang into each other, and I just feel that maybe an additional joint here in the shoulders might have helped things out. Now, at the time of this recording, um, the repaint of Skids has been released, which is Crosscut. I hope I'm saying that right. Which was a homage to the Takara 
E Hobby uh, repaint of the books book box version of Skids, which was done in, in its original Diaclone colors at silver, and even included the Diaclone uh, driver uh, scooter which is a thin piece of plastic with four uh, wheels pinned on. Um, Crosscut doesn't come with that. Uh, I want to keep saying crosswise for some reason, but... Um, so there is that option. Then there's going to be another repaint uh, using the crosscut head as roll bar. Now that will be in the Transformers Age of Extinction line. As far as I know, that's only going to be available in an Autobots United 5-pack. there I think there might be another set that where it's available. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's not in the Autobots United 5-pack. It's in a um, the Barn, the Farm Battle set. Because um, apparently this isn't to homage the car that the boyfriend was driving. You might be able to find another avenue to get it individually. but So you have options. If you really want to have this figure, and keep in mind, transformation is fun. Robot mode, not so much. Then you have some options in terms of colors and stuff. Unfortunately, Skids was rather hard to find when it first came out. So that's actually bumped the price up uh, a little bit on the aftermarket. More so uh, than I feel I can recommend paying for the figure. With all that said... This is your pal Chuck for Generation Skids. We'll see you next time.